I'm here with Justin Park, author of uh, Terabyte and uh, Mad Dog, uh, The Exchange, a couple of others, I think, and founder, well, or co-founder of Sinister Horror Company. How are that? Yep. These guys. Uh, so we're here in uh, the Edinburgh Horror Conference. Uh, just what are you uh, pushing today? What's new? What's what's your big stuff that you're rolling out? Uh, so new stuff currently at the moment that we've got is um, the Black Manuscripts Volume 3. Uh, that's a charity anthology, so all money that um, is made from that goes to Shelter, the homeless charity. <laughs> that came out in January. Uh, another new one of this year is uh, the Unheimic Mover by Tracy Fahey. Um, so that is a very different style of horror than what we're used to. Uh, I say what we're used to. I mean, our different types of horror will always change into different ones of the spectrum uh, with uh, Tracy's one. It's what they kind of call a domestic gothic, so it's yeah. quite a quiet sense of horror. It's more unsettling. It will linger long in your brain. I've read this. It's great. You should get it. Um, yeah, and the other one we've got down here at the minute that is new for this year is... Uh, Jonathan Butcher's The Chocolate Man. Uh, this is a limited edition. It's uh, numbered and signed by the author himself. Uh, only 25 of these made. Uh, it's a paperback of a short story, a guy called The Chocolate Man. Uh, he hangs around in toilets. I'll leave the rest of you <laughs> to your imagination as to what that's about. Uh, Sinister Horror Company, what do you think uh, sets your books apart and what do you look for when a manuscript comes into you? Yeah, so I think the thing with us is that uh, we've got a tendency to look at a wide range of uh, horror in all the different bits of the spectrum. Um, what we're looking for is quality in writing, something that's uh, inventive, something that's new, something that's fresh. It doesn't have to be a particular subgenre within it. In fact, we prefer to diversify within that. Um, so that's what we kind of look for within the manuscripts themselves. Then the product that we then create, we're very much about making sure that is of quality. So it has to look good as well as have good content. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got some fantastic uh, little additional items like the, the trading cards. What are they about? Well, see, I loved horror ever since I was a child, uh, and a lot of my memories of horror come from when I was a kid. Now, back in sort of the 1980s, Top Trumps did two horror series. They're kind of famous. If you look them up on Google, you'll see them, um, and they look exactly in that model. So I always wanted to create some of those kind of within the same brand. So that's what I would want to do. So we set up our own. It, it, the design is exactly the same as the Top Trump one, so you can play with them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and so they, the characters all come from the stuff within our books. Very cool. So it means that you can play, I don't know, the uh, whale from Mad Dog. You can uh, have that fight against uh, Dracula in yeah. the Top Trump ones. <laughs> That's great. Um, so how has Edinburgh Horror Conference been for you so far? What do you think of it? Is your... Yeah, it's been great. Yeah. I mean, the Edinburgh the city itself, absolutely fantastic. I had a walk around yesterday. The architecture is so gothic and dark. Yeah. Uh -huh. it's, there's, there's a great sense of horror within it uh -huh. already. Uh, and the convention has been fantastic. <laughs> I mean, people are coming from all around. It's quite a cosmopolitan city in mm -hmm. itself. Uh, and it, yeah, just a lot of horror fans. There's a good buzz about it. As well as being a publisher and horror author, you've just finished uh, work as was assistant director, assistant director yeah. on a feature uh, horror film. Uh, yeah. What was that? Monster. Monster. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what Matt Shaw's yeah, first so, feature film. Yeah. So it's based on the book by Matt Shaw and Michael Bray uh, mm -hmm. called Monster. Uh, Matt Shaw directed it, um, and he asked me to be assistant director. He phoned up one day and said, "Would you like to be assistant director?" I said, uh, "I was on the phone." I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds great." Put the phone down. <laughs> so I had to run away and quickly look up what it was I had to do. Yeah. But it, it was great. Um, so I came in on the project sort of about November. We shot in January. Mm -hmm. We shot for eight days an entire feature film, yeah. which was long. Uh -huh. We were doing long hours in short time scale, but long hours in order to do that. But it was fantastic. The crew were great. The cast were great. Um, and yeah, the, pro the final product at the end of the day looks good. So you've seen the, the, the final product? Yeah, so... Um, I've seen the trailers, which well, the, the teaser trailers, which look, you know, cool. And look, the quality is good. The yeah. point, the point um, we always want to make sure, the quality has to be good within it. Mm -hmm. So you need good sound, you need good picture, very minimal. Yeah. That has both been achieved. And um, when it got made, I, I was uh, with Matt when we saw the first rough cut. 
and then after that there'd be tweets done to it and he'd send an edit back to me and then I'd look at it and I'd put comments through to him and he'd take his own and it, I think it probably went about five different edits before we got the final one and then the music going over the top and it's interesting to see the difference between a rough cut with no colour grading no sound yeah, 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 sure. and then getting to the end but it premiered in Seattle Crypticon last weekend um, Matt was out there he sent a message over saying that um, it got a, it got a uh, good reception mm -hmm. there was of course there was gasps in the right places there was yeah. laughter at some of the dark jokes and at one scene we had people even gag yeah. so that's got to be good right <laughs> if someone's gagging you know uh, in a horror film in a horror film it's a weird industry right? <laughs> that's like two thumbs up where else are you uh, going to be over the coming months with uh, with your books with yeah, yeah so uh, next weekend we're going to be at um, Rotherham just outside of Sheffield that's for Horrorcon UK so I'm going straight from here down to there so we'll take all the same stock with us yeah. then we're going to be in London on the end of uh, end of June beginning of July for the London Horrorcon yep. also going to see the premiere of Monster in London for the UK premiere there so that'll be nice get to see it in cinema uh -huh. uh, we're going to be in Edgelit in Derby which is in July, but the date of which I can't remember. No, me neither. Uh, but look it up, Edson. Yeah, do look, do look it up. Great, great. That's a book convention, but mm -hmm. fantastic one. Uh, and then there's the Bristol Horrorcon in November. Mm -hmm. That's a one-day one, but that's my hometown, Bristol. So, ah, so you just pop along. I just pop along, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Um, how can people get in touch with uh, with you and keep up to date with what you're doing? Like your Twitter? Yeah, yeah. So you'll find us on Twitter. You'll find us on Instagram. You'll find us on Facebook. Just look up Sinister Horror Company. I think twi Twitter was Sinister HC. Um, but yeah, you'll find us up on those. And also, just go to sinisterhorrorcompany.com. Nice and straightforward. That on the website will then have all the links to the social media stuff there. And I should just draw attention to uh, this brilliant T-shirt that Justin is wearing. Uh, Vincent Price fans around the world will unite in their adoration of the abominable Dr. Fives. It's like congratulations. <laughs>